Greetings, kindred. It is I, Voivod Maquette, returning for the third installment of our Vampire the Masquerade Redemption walkthrough. So uh, we're about to team up with uh, Wilhelm right here and uh, head on over to the monastery. I realized that I kept calling the... Uh, I, I kept calling the convent a monastery in the previous episodes, uh, but now we're actually heading to the Petron Hill Monastery to, uh, well, to go, as Ekaterina the Wise put it, um, <laughs> steal from our good friend and ally, Garinol. So uh, let's hop right into this, and uh, there's going to be a lot of exposition from Wilhelm in just a second. Ekaterina is a scholar, not a warrior born. She would keep her fledgling studying vampire lore in her nest till Gehenna comes, and never hurl them from the nest to test their wings. But I cannot spend hours debating canite wisdom in a university. Give me a stout broadsword in my hand, and the sweet taste of my foe's blood on my tongue, and I have all the wisdom I need. And I suspect thou art akin to me. I am not akin to thee, blood guzzler. I strike only those that deserve my steel. I do not murder the innocents to gorge on their blood. Thou shalt feed upon blood, or thou shalt die. But thou need not kill to do so. Drink only so much blood as will sustain thee. Suffer thy prey to live on, for to kill during the feeding is to violate our Promethean ethic. And that way lies the beast. The beast? A beast born of Cain's sin doth coil within thy breast, Christophe. Keep it at bay, or be lost forever. Acts of cruelty unleash that beast, until it rules thee, as it rules many of Azra's kin. The beast made them madmen? Nay, the mad vampires are called Malkavian. Shouldst thou meet one, God help thee. Shouldst thou need his assistance, God cannot help thee. Nay, the beast is not mere madness, but demonic possession by the curse of Cain. We Prometheans are wayfarers in the land of the beast, but we stray not from the road of humanity, the Via Humanitas. By our acts of compassion are we saved from the jaws of the beast. Remember this always, or be devoured from within. All right. So, Petron Hill, here we go. And it seems I do need to feed. Thou hast life everlasting. So long as thou keepest thy pallid flesh hidden from the sun's hateful rays, the life-giving sun only brings death to the likes of us. Each day we must retreat to our haven in the chambers below the university. What do I got right now? I've got nothing but a knife, which I'm going to sell, and I got some rats. So let's go ahead and use our first discipline, which is going to be for healing. Make sure people can see. All right. I am weak with lack of precious blood. And now we gotta feed. So we have to find a person, such as this dude. Actually, soldiers tend to attack. So let's try to find a person who's not gonna be excitable still looking for barrels oh here we go gotta keep an eye on her blood just like in bloodlines not the killer ah crap okay <laughs> apparently uh fudge okay run <laughs> Oh, jeez, he's still chasing. Uh, this way, this way. Let's go in. Let's sell that knife. Uh, I want these rats first, though. Alright. 
young sir. So I will take that, and then Wilhelm. He's gonna keep everything that he has. Um, might be a good idea to just go ahead and buy a second thing of arrows. You have my hand on it. Tis a deal. Tis a deal. Uh, ooh, there's more rats. And you, beggar. I really just want to top off Kristoff before we rush in and do anything stupid. Alright, so... Okay, well, apparently. Here we go. I grow faint. The hunger overcomes thee. The beast strengthens as thou weaken from lack of blood. Canst thou feel him uncoiling in thy heart? Thou must feed. Feed or die, Christoph, for I shall kill thee before I let the beast claim thee. I, I just fed. Well, one more time. Alright, there we go. <sighs> Only what thou needs, Christoph. No more. Behold, his wound vanishes. Monsieur shouldn't drink so much wine, eh, Christophe? Do not worry. He'll wake up and know nothing of what has happened. Most mortals find great pleasure in the dark kiss. Ekaterina tells us that in Carthage, the mortals happily submitted to it. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh, where'd he go? I was going to say, let's go ahead and top off Wilhelm, too, but apparently, the old man left. Alright. Now, yeah, let's... These powers tempt me to dark acts. How easily could I rain devastation on all who vex me? Thy fear and thy power conspire to make of thee a beast. Seek thee an anchor for thy humanity, a rock to cling to when storms come. Anezka. Love for a mortal is the most dangerous of all anchors. I must see Anezka. That is most unwise. The cheerful world of daylight is lost to thee. I must see her again, just to look upon her for a moment. Ekaterina would not be pleased. Oh, very well. Shouldst thou display valor on our mission this night, I shall take thee to the convent. But only for a moment to glimpse her as she sleeps. Now come, our mission lies ahead. Alright. So, like, even back then they're talking about touchstones. But, uh, I, I, I like the idea of you being able to have touchstones that aren't human. Petron Hill... The old Petron Hill Monastery, haven of the Cappadocian vampires in Prague. The monks are vampires? Nay, the Cappadocians lurk in the desecrated crypts below the monastery, out of sight of the monks who provide them with fresh blood. Only those monks that serve Garanol know the real master of the monastery. That's another one of those things where, like, the lore is completely different from what we actually get in the, uh... Uh... The lore is completely different from what we get in the, um, in the video game. Alright. You need to feed. Okay. And now we can go in and actually get some stuff done. Let's see. To save some blood, it might be a good idea to actually give him a weapon. Of course, it has zero accuracy, so that's going to do him next to nothing. Okay. 
Make sure that they're in defensive. Okay. Am I not going through that door? Okay. <laughs> it's been a while since I played this game, guys. Sorry. Yeah, that one actually has the Cappadocian symbol on the door, too. Let's see. The clan shields. I highlighted the, I tried to highlight this earlier and it didn't do what it. What is our mission? A mission of misfortune. Why is a noble Garanol his friend and ally to Ekaterina? I take no pleasure in storming his home. But Ekaterina has divined that the Cappadocians have stolen from her. We seek to retrieve a precious fragment of the Book of Nod, the wisdom of the ancient Canaanites. Why would Garanol steal from her? We know not. Until we learn all, we cannot let them know we serve Ekaterina. All right. In my mind, that says rob them. Oh my god. I hate the fact that they, like, run into stuff and just get stuck. Okay. Ah. Charms target towards the user. Potence. We're going to go ahead and use Potence. And run in and kick some butt. What the hell? Thank you. No, no, no. You come here. Ah! Oh. Wilhelm? Alright. That stinks. At least we're finding blood here. And there's some leather clothing. Which I already have, so Wilhelm can get a little better. In fact, what's the accuracy on that dagger? Zero. Ten damage. Forty-five damage. Okay, you're gonna stick with your halberd. I like how his clothes changed really, really well when it came to that. Um, I guess. Drink a rat. I love this place. Uh the mod they're doing for Skyrim for this? The Cappadocians are a strange clan, Christoph. They seek to understand death and the secrets of the grave. Prepare thyself. Their halls are guarded by the walking dead. The stench of death taints this holy place. Tis fitting for the clan of death. <sighs> All right, Eric. Anyway, as I was saying before that talking started, the uh, the mod they're doing for uh, for this game for for Sky on Skyrim is freaking amazing. Um, I will go ahead and I will put the Cappadocian test footage in the uh, in the description so you can go in there and check that out because it's just amazing. Oh, go. <laughs> hey, William, attack. To the abyss with thee. I really need Wilhelm to stop stepping in front of who I'm attacking. Abyss with 
Can't drink that. But we did get to kill a Zombu, so that was fun. Okay. Now, this area is incredibly important to check every... Every single corner. Scroll of Blood Healing, nice. Because they drop so much cool stuff. Um, I gotta say, Wilhelm has some nice one-liners. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and run. To the abyss with me. Oh my god, these guys have like a high feeding. I'd really just like to feed from them sometimes. And he just won't let me. Also, I don't know if it has anything to do with it. To the abyss with me. To the abyss with there we go. I don't know if it has anything to do with it or not, but, um... Willow. Move. Um... I feel like if you eat them... <laughs> you have a better chance... Of, um... I feel that if you eat them, you have a better chance of learning their disciplines. Um, and Mortis is actually a really good power to have. <laughs> I love the sound his head made while it was rolling on the ground. Dude. Stand thy ground. Calm down. What do we pick up? Okay, we got two bucklers. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and let him carry those. That's got an accuracy of 10 and a 20 damage. So Wilhelm's going to be dagger it. Going to be using a dagger. That is so much better already. Alright. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit of a strategist when it comes to this stuff. not remembering how to open these things and it's driving me nuts because I gotta get both of those open. Maybe it's in the other room. Ooh. Behold, the mural depicts Cain as God's favored son. Every child knows that Cain's sacrifice of grain vexed the Lord, and Abel's sacrifice of the blood of a lamb satisfied the Lord. But mysterious old Cainites tell us that the Lord craved blood and reveled in Cain's second sacrifice the blood of his brother Abel. The Lord raised up Cain over the other sons of Adam. He freed him from plowing the earth for food and set a mark on him that he live forever. Garanon devoutly believes this Cainite heresy, which holds that the curse of Cain is truly a blessing. And thou, dost thou believe the Cainite heresy? If I am favored of the Lord, the angels have not seen fit to tell me of it. <laughs> I love the uh, the banter between these two, especially about the canine heresy. And giant rats. Awesome. Let's just go ahead and... I'm just going to do this. Come on. Oh my god. That thirsty bitch. Hold on. Thou may draw forth blood from No, I don't want to feed from you. I want to feed from her. Ugh. 
And there's another Zombu. Or a corpse minion. Corpse minion, not a Zombu. Keeping these boys healthy is difficult. Okay, yeah, that opens one of them. That's gonna come in handy. Bracelets, yes. Oh my god, well. I just say that he likes to dance. That's all. Okay, I can't wear a bracelet if I'm wearing the gloves, and the gloves do extra damage. This just gives me a higher appearance. So we're going to go ahead and give this to him. Until we get him some gloves. Look, it's the Cappadocian's Bong Collection. Oh my god. This, the ability to get into tight places is not friendly in this game, but like, it's so pretty. Alright, the door on the far side should be open now. Oh my gosh. Oh, Willem's got his... Willem's got his, uh, his feral claws out. To the abyss with me. Okay. More bongs. Okay. What is this? Another shield! Take these rubies. Okay, that opens that other gate. It's a disease vaccine. Oh my god, I can't wait till I can spend XP on my healing. My healing and my feeding. Thou dost fight thy allies with great zeal, Wilhelm. I take no pleasure in it. I just do what must be done. The only one I will not fight is Garanal, the leader of the Cappadocians. I chose to strike this knight because Garanal and his assistant Serena have an audience with the Knight Prince of Prague, Rudolf Brandel, and will not be here. Ah, oh, Rudolf. Oh my god. There we go. That's actually how I prefer to fight in this in this situation is like let one of them see you and then follow you and then bomb rush them. Like this guy. Which is actually how smart vampires should fight too. Oh, oh, two noticed. No! Stop trying to feed off your friends! Ugh. You are a pain in my ass, William. And he stands on the money, too. Like, uh, This is why the Venture didn't want you. This man is gonna frenzy. He's out of blood. Oh my god. Alright, buddy. Take this. 
No more rats for me either. Damn. How do you let them know that it's not their allies? Rob them! Alright, we got a silver ring. We'll give that to Willem. Just get him all looking fancy. He's already drinking all the blood that I gave him, too. Willem, you're a lush! Alright, there's nothing here. What's over here? Like a skeleton? I think. Oh, skeletons! Alright, get them to notice me. Uh, the ones with the bows. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. Death rattle, I guess? I don't know. Ooh, going down to the monastery's second level. Kristoff <laughs> gained a new rank. Just to let you guys know, like, they dropped the ranking scale in this game, but they didn't take it out. It doesn't actually do anything. Like, if I open up my character sheet, like, I'm still a neonate Bruja. Like, my generation didn't go down or anything like that. I don't really know what my rank going, uh, being gained actually means. More dark worship. Is there no end to the vampiric taste for blasphemy? Geralt celebrates the transfiguration of death, but I do not share his fondness for the grave. I have died once to become a Cainite, and do not seek to die again. Through <laughs> <laughs> the abyss with you! Tend me. Yeah, if I if I hit this button, it means that it brings them all back out. I wanted to check because I know I remember one of these somewhere in here has a uh, a button that you can push. It's probably later though. Okay. More skeletons. I love the sound of their heads bouncing on the ground. Is it Z? Yes, with Z, if I press down Z, I can move around with the mouse and actually take a look. I'll try to remember to do that more often so you guys can check stuff out. Uh, I feel like there's a... A hidden passage or somewhere, or something somewhere around here, but like, I don't know, maybe it's later. I just, I cannot remember. I know you shouldn't step on that because fire comes out. again return to me so I can get around you and get that money you keep stepping on blood healing that's nice 
Rags. Come here, rat. We're gonna give you to Wilhelm, just like this bottle. And hopefully he'll heal himself, because he's an idiot. Where there's something over here. Like there's a button that opens a door or something that's like right here or right here and I'm probably thinking of a different level. Like in the monastery but like a different floor. I wish one of these damn skeletons would drop one of these scimitars. That is a good weapon. Okay, nothing here. Let me check on this side. Yep. I don't like things sneaking up on me. I don't know if you've noticed or not. Making sure I pick up any weapons I, that they drop, also. And if I'm if I remember this properly, there is always a helmet over here. Yep, there it is. A skull cap. So we're just constantly trying to upgrade these guys because they will die. I hear a Cappadocian laughing. Oh my god, this place is so big. going. Was it really worth the... Just... He does things, and I'm just like, is it really worth the blood that you're wasting, man? Like, you're out of blood again. I'm gonna give you this rat, and I'm gonna give you this. But dude, you got a drinking problem. And he's using Protean again. This guy. Like, I appreciate that we're winning, but I'm really worried about your hunger level. Gold. Ooh, a gold ring. I got an upgrade. So there's a hand-me-down for you.
Alright, so... It's so cool. I want to just get a good glimpse of this. That's so nice. Anyway. I think we have to crawl... I think we have to go up that banister in the next room. I just... I just wanted to take a look around. Yeah, right up here. Which will eventually open this door. But there's gonna be somebody trying to kill me on the other side. An earthen floor blankets this room. Aye, the Cappadocians do bury their newly embraced in a ritual of death. Shovel party. Thank you for standing still while I slowly slaughter you. Oh my god. This guy's using fortitude. Where did you come from? Stop feeding from him. He's like the weakest out of everybody. Where did... To the abyss with thee. Yeah, that'll open that gate. I'm trying to get this weapon. Cause I can. I stand. I return to thee. Ah, yeah, that'll make them stay if you hit this little button. I stand. I return to thee. But uh I don't want that right now. I just accidentally hit a thing. Okay, fifty bashing, zero accuracy, you're sticking with the knife, buddy. Okay, now let's see what everybody dropped. Too bad you can't pick up the heads from the skeletons. <laughs> Gold coins. Gold ring. Which means I got two gold rings. You can go to Wilhelm. Alright. Plenty of things to sell. That's good. Oh god. Oh my god, the camera angles. It's like playing Resident Evil. Ah! Here's that thing I was talking about earlier. This. It's just a bag of gold, but it's helpful. Oh, there's a secret room. 
Is this the secret room I was thinking? I think maybe it is. Oh, there's somebody behind me, too. Man, my feeding sucks. Trying to bite her. I want to eat a Cappadocian. Ah. Excuse me. Ah. Then feed. That actually works too. If you use ah, it makes it. You can feed easier. Okay. I'm going to Diablerize her because I really do... I don't know if it's actually game mechanics or not, but I really think that it helps you learn it easier. Um, actually, it probably doesn't do anything. <laughs> but why the hell not? Diablery. What do we got? We got some coins, some blood... Bag of gold, walk the abyss, and a femur. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give these rats to our friend. And a couple of these bottles. Because he's a lush. Alright, we might have to start doing some rearranging with our... Uh, Silver coins. We might have to start doing some rearranging with our inventories. Because I think we're getting to the point where it's full. Alright. Down to Monastery 3. Oh, oh, oh. Stuff over here. Holy cross. This is actually probably a good time to talk about this. Um, the Holy Cross, it says not identified. And the femur, which is also, if I could, hold on. Let's make some room for it. Okay. The, fe the femur is also not identified. Um, the reason is, is because you can use spirits touch on those items once you get aspects. Um. Oh, I didn't realize there was another rat. Um. No, not on the ground. To Willem. Anyway, you're going to gain access to aspects. You're also going to gain access to scrolls of spirits touch. Like these right here. But I don't have one of those at the moment. And, uh. Anywho, they will identify the. All right, Mercure shoes. I don't know if I'm supposed to go through there yet. Okay, yeah, it's locked. 
Um, let's go ahead upstairs first. Anywho, if you use Spirit's Touch on an item that's not identified, it will identify it, which will do two things. One, it'll uh, activate its ability if it has one. Oh my god, stop missing. Screw it. Oh my god, stop running. To the abyss with me. To the abyss with me. Let me handle this fight. This Garon all study. Now to find the key that unlocks the secrets of the dead. Alright, so that's locked. Anywho, the second thing that it does is it raises the value of the item because you know what it is. So you can actually sell it to somebody who, you know, will actually, like, you can actually haggle the price. I guess that's actually put the wrong way. You're not really haggling. Oh my god. Stop missing. Anyway, since you know what it is, uh, you can charge the proper price for it. So that's useful. Ugh. Come on. Oh my god, stop wasting your blood on Protean! I mean, come on, let's... Let's utilize what you're using, I guess. To the abyss with me. Oh my god, he got locked out. You're locked in? Oh. Willem, you're an idiot. The worst part is, is he just activated Protean, and then I heard him activate Celerity. So, yeah, Willem d uses Discipline Celerity. He is... This guy is, like, trying to kill me. Oh, now you want to play. Now that I'm trying to feed, now you're going to start fighting. This guy, I swear. He's like the worst roommate. He eats all my food, drinks all my blood. He doesn't have good weapons. Ugh. So I got an Onyx Band. I'm curious. Plus 5, plus 15. Okay, selling the Onyx Band. Got it. Freaking skeleton. That is enough. Wilhelm gained a new rank in the system that they did not continue to keep in this game. 
Is it the rank of getting in my way and not actually doing anything? Ah, so the tables have turned. Okay, I just want to make sure nobody dropped anything. Alright. Oh, money, money. I want that. Let me come down here real quick. And we'll take a look at this. Of course, the angle stops me. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. That's awesome. Take that. A key. A key in the form of a finger bone. Yep. Willem has got to be out of blood again. Yep, completely. I think it might just be safe to just give this to him. I'm going to keep one just in case. But the fact that he's actually made it this far without dying is... I don't know. That's It's a miracle at this point. Let's go into gear and all study. <laughs> Why are there other Cappadocians in here? Okay. Willem has been using potent, celerity, protean, and aspects, or not aspects, presence. God, I forgot how much of a pain in the, like, I forgot how much of a pain in the ass Willem, Willem is, like, in character, he's supposed to be this massive help. Out of character, I'm just like, come on, dude. It's Cappadocian down here. Sometimes the high ground is really nice in this game. If you can just be a couple steps up from the thing that you're hitting. Silver coins. Silver coins. Oh my god. Help me. <laughs> Taking my blood back. As Willem does a little dance. Yes. Dance while I feed, you maniac. Alright. Okay, now attack. Alright, there's another shield. Which we'll give this one to him to him to use. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Alright, yeah, our inventory is getting maxed. So let's pick up some more stuff. Padded clothing? Nice. I don't think anybody can use padded clothing. 
My newest child, Mercurio, hath proved a tainted blessing. Though he is ambitious and untrustworthy, he has added much to the protection of this house. He drinks the power of death with an unquenchable thirst, and could become the greatest student of the grave, but he hath little respect for our ancient alliances with the other Canites, and could reawaken old feuds. The ungrateful puppy even seeks to seal his crypt from me. Does he not know that I can crack his sealed crypt at any time with my anointed skull of the Lamia? Alas, but I do require Mercurio's aid until such time as I can fathom the secrets of the Golem and gain its protection. I would that I had the lore of Rabbi Mordecai ben Judah to aid my experiments, but as I lack the wisdom of the Kabbalists, I would deal with the devil himself in these parlous times. Okay. If Mercurio is charged with the protection of this haven, I wonder that we have not yet faced him. I would have words with this Mercurio. Venerable Garonel should not have to rely upon an untrustworthy child. Now, this thing. That is apparently a skull of a Lamia. And, uh, or skull of Lamia herself? I'm not sure, but... Come on, man. It's just a bloodline of the Cappadocians. What the hell is this thing? What beast once wore this skull upon its neck? All right. Let's go... Deal with Mercutio. Okay, so we're about to deal with Mercutio, who's or Mercurio, sorry, who's in here. Um, I really think we should be ready for this fight. Scroll of Awakening might be a good idea to have out. Um, blood healing might be a good idea to have out. Blood healing might be a good idea to have out. Scroll of Awakening. Scroll of Blood Dexterity. Ugh. I knocked myself in a corner. That's a scroll of awakening. Now. This is one of the good parts about having this other guy here, is that I can just, like, hold this here. And just pass that back and forth. That's Those are both scrolls of awakening. Okay, I really don't think there's much else that we can do. It's just for go into the fight. Um, I really want him to be healthy. I failed at blood healing. That's awesome. Okay, that's about all we can do. And you can play the other character if you want to. I'm just choosing to stick with Kristoff because he's the, you know, he's the main character. What? How comes out here? Flee now and the great Mercurio will not smite thee. So, hiding like a rat in a hole, whilst thy kin fight valiantly in defense of thy theft, thou art a clot pole of a coward. I hide not. My work is too important. Work thou hast interrupted. I shall crack open the tree of life and uncover all the secrets of death and life. Hmm. We're just gonna go with the noble Kristoff. I shall tell thee the secret of death and life. Give us the Nod Fragment and we shall let thee live. Nay, thou wilt tell Garanol of my theft. Tis better I bury thee in a secret grave, 
with stakes of oak piercing thy hearts, and a wraithworm shall hollow out thy noble brows and robust cheeks. <laughs> Fair class, buddy. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes. Okay. We did it. Okay. I gotta heal this guy. You got one thing. Alright, bud. That was fun. That whole feeling, or uh, failing at blood healing. Oh, dumbass. Oh my god, that is not an easy fight. The signs of Gehenna, Canto 4. So too, our grandsires will rise from the ground. They will break their fast on the first part of us. They will consume us whole. What means this dire portent? This is a great secret known to a few wise vampires. The Book of Nod tells us that the 13 ancient founders of the vampire clans will one day rise from their age-old sleep. When these antediluvians emerge from torpor, they shall fall upon us, their descendants, and gorge their unholy thirst upon our blood. The day they rise is called Gehenna, or the Winnowing, and it signals the end of all that is. We know not how to prevent it, but even now Ekaterina searches for a way. Why didst thou not tell me of this? With such evil barking at our heels we must hasten our work. Forgive us. Most young Cainites are not ready to hear it. They mistrust their sire, and that we cannot have. All right. The reeky, that fouling old Potok fears that I seek to betray him. But he shall not know with a certainty until the last of his sludge blood oozes from his pus ridden corpse. The old maggot pie needeth my power in defense of his withered haven, and shall overlook my indiscretion. So I must keep his mewling household in a frenzy, defending themselves from aggrieved villains. I shall steal from the beslubbering Bruja to draw their wrath upon him. However, should his crusty majesty plumb the secrets of the golem, he shall need me no longer. So I shall pollute the rabbi's gall-faced golem with grave rot, making it useless to him. Then shall I drink the old leper's blood before the moon hath fully waned. That's nice. Garanal's search for wisdom has not trespassed into our haven. Twas his false servant, Mercurio. We were fortunate to find the fragment before another clan could learn of it. Others might not have spared Garanal in the search. All right, what's in here? The fine repair. Okay, we are full, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, let's go ahead and move a couple things. Not like this is going to help. Um, probably sacrifice the clothes again like I usually do. Okay, so 30 lethal, 25. Hmm... I think this might end up being I can carry no more. Wilhelm's new thing. So why don't we uh, switch off and give Kristoff. So... Do that. Oh my god, everything he carries is massive. He didn't use the bow at all. Hmm. 
Okay, so then we will switch to Kristoff, grab that again, give it back, and then take those clothes back. Ah! Jesus! I can carry no more. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess we're not selling the rags. Just sad. I like to, like, sell everything I possibly can. Okay, do we just leave now? I think we just leave now. This place is so cool looking. Seriously, though, check out the monastery that they're working on in the Skyrim mod. Because, holy crap, it's so cool. Link in the description. <laughs> We must hurry. Dawn approaches. The sun is a destroyer now, Kristoff. Remember this. During the day, thou must find a place to rest where no sunlight can enter. Let us return to the university where Katarina shall surely celebrate our triumph. I cannot share thy pleasure over such a deed. Come now. Before thy embrace, did thou not slay evil creatures? Behold! Thy mission survives even thy death. That is scant solace for the loss of my soul. Thou dost brood too much upon events thou cannot change, Christoph. Seek consolation in our Promethean mission. Bury thy woe in the blood-drenched soil of battle. I have found the fury of war weaves enchantments that soothe even the most troubled heart. Kindred and kind alike. I well know the seduction of warfare. Then thou knowest the joy of cutting a bloody swath through thy foemen. The only joy I felt was in doing the work of heaven as a soldier of God. I have done nothing to warrant this fallen state. How can God allow men to become demons? How can God snatch away the promise of salvation? God allows the innocent child on the battlefield to cry and does nothing. So why should God prevent the misery of a killer like unto thee? <sighs> I, I do not know. I have not considered these things. Come. I promised thee a trip to the convent, but make haste. Dawn comes quickly. Kristoff? My love? Thou art accursed, if Kristoff be thy love. Nay, do not go, my lord. Let me look upon thee. Good my lord, forgive me. I was filled with fright to behold thee. Thy comely face is now sicklied over with a pale cast, and I scarcely recognized thee. Forgive me. Thou hast been gone so long, we feared for thy life. Thou feared aright, for I am dead to the world, and my soul is lost. Do I behold a ghost? Nay. I touch thy arm, and I know thou art flesh and blood. Not flesh, only blood. My lord, my words do fill my heart with fear, and I tremble. Good my lord, why dost thou look so strangely upon me? My mind is filled with thoughts of such base villainy. My hunger for thee is stronger now than when my heart did pump its own warm blood. I know not what misfortune weighs so heavily upon thy soul, or has driven the rosy warmth from thy cheek. But the heavenly powers can banish all such darkness. Should they banish this darkness, they would banish all that is left of me. Say not so. My lord, I know thy heart, and thy soul is pure. My heart? My soul? Thy words torment me with remembrance of all that I have lost. I was a fool to have come here. I must never return to a house of God. Nay. I pray thee stay, my honored lord, thy soul is in peril. My honored lady, my soul is lost, my cause is doomed, and I am damned. I go, I will not look upon thee again. Then I pray thee, my lord, receive this token of me. Tis but a small amulet of St. Jude. Thou didst give it me. And it hath soothed the pangs of mine own heart that began when first I beheld thee. And a desperate, hopeless love did grow in my breast. 
Mayhap it will be some consolation to thy doomed cause. Art thou deaf, woman? My cause is lost! Therefore do I offer thee the amulet of Jude, patron saint of lost causes. Oh. Thou sweet heavens, guide him. So I guess I didn't take the pendant back, because, like, she was still holding it. I don't know. Okay, we need to get out of here. Um, I think our best bet is to go ahead and sell off everything that we got, and then head back to the university. Good day to you, young sir. Take this. We're gonna wait on that one. Okay, and now Wilhelm. I want to keep the bow and arrow because he started with those. And sometimes they come in handy. Um, I am going to get rid of all the or ornamental stuff on him though because it's not going to come in handy really. Alright, so now we have tw almost... <laughs> Almost 2,200. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and keep what we got. That is nice. No accuracy, though. Blessed Mace, human only. Gauntlets of Stamina. Stamina 5. Ugh. I think that's where we're going to stop yeah, with that. And then we'll hurry up and go see Enorna. Uh-oh. A comely young sister did come to me from the convent. A clever lass she was, and more valorous than many a young warrior. She bade me give thee this letter. <sighs> Hello, young one. What is it you... But hold... You do look so strangely. Oh, they have hurt you. The canines have taken ye for their own. Oh, my poor boy. But fear not. Unorna neither feels ye nor casts ye out. I'll help ye, if I can. Okay, so go ahead and sell those. Oh, I have a dagger on me still. Damn it. Uh, scroll of Spirits Touch. They're not that expensive. Go ahead and take two of those. Go with God, young one. We are going to use a Scroll of Spirits Touch on this. Alright. And on this. 20 bashing damage. Extra damage uh, to vampires, non-human only. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hold on to that for right now, but I am going to sell Christoph. this. How can I help you? Okay. She doesn't really have anything worth buying that I can afford. Um, although the amulet would be not really anything, really. Um, amulet of intelligence. Yeah, they really don't do much. Now, blood cost 80%, non-human only. Discipline ring, that would be nice, but uh, it's also a lot. That is a lot. Okay, blood bracelet. Plus 20 to your blood pool. Interesting. Go with God, young one. I don't think Wilhelm has anything worth selling. Nope. So, let's see. My dearest Christoph, I have spoken to the old gypsy, a woman of great lore and learning. She hath told me much of the way of the Cainites. She has heard that the soul is not truly lost after the horrid blood ceremony. 
There is hope, even in unlife. The Elder Cainites know of the secret, and thou too may learn of it. I live for thy redemption. Thine in faith, Anezka. That's cute. All right, to the university. There they are. This is most excellent, Willem. Our alliance with the Cappadocians shall strengthen when I reveal Mercurio's treachery to Garinol. Willem, thou art a Bruja of surpassing splendor. Our grandsire Bruja himself would feel pride at this. In modesty, mistress, I could not have done it without Christoph's aid. He has done well. Christoph performed admirably, my sire. I believe he is ready to know of the oncoming struggle. What struggle is this? The Jihad. The great war of all the vampire clans. The Zemitsi against the Tremere, and us against both. The Tremere? The Tremere were once a house of mages, part of the Order of Hermes. They stole Cain's gift from an ancient of our kind, an antediluvian, one of Cain's grandchildren. They seek to infiltrate and control all the world. They couple the power of Cain with the ways of unspeakable magic. The fiends from the Carpathians, the Zemitsi, are fighting the Tremere even as we speak. The Zemitsi have invaded the ancestral homelands of the Ventru, which puts us in a strange alliance with the very Ventru who destroyed our great city of Carthage. So, we unite with the Vampire Prince of Prague, the Ventru Rudolf Brandl, for now. Thou hast reason to hate the Ventru as well, Kristoff. Thou fell in battle against the pagan barbarians because the Ventru made puppets of thy leaders. The Ventru sent thee into battle to stop their Tsimitsi enemies. Most of the barbarians were revenants, ghoul servitors of the Tsimitsi. Other clans maintain havens here in Prague. Thou hast met the Cappadocians. The Nosferatu lurk below the graveyard in the northern quarter. Most of King Otakar's family, the Premisils, are Zemitsi ghouls. With the entrance of the Tremere into Prague, a struggle is bound to ensue, leaving the mortals greatly abused. We must avert this horror. Many in Prague have disappeared, including Bruja. We suspect they fell victim to the Zemitsi fiends or the usurping Tremere. We must stop the abductions. First, we must seek to undo the damage done by the traitorous Mercurio. Mistress, I wish to approach the Jewish quarter and warn the rabbi of Mercurio's meddling. If their golem hath suffered a cowardly attack, it may not be able to protect the Jews from the Tzimitzi. We have no alliance with the Kabbalists in the Jewish quarter, and they have powerful charms of faith to wield against our kind. We have a duty to protect the mortals. Should we deliver unto them this news, mayhap the Jews will owe us a boon. But we have much to do first. In three nights' time, thou may deliver thy message. Take Kristoff with thee, but beware. The Kabbalists have no love for the likes of us. Three nights' time may be too late. After one mission with Wilhelm, thou hast become very like him. So be it. Wilhelm, take Kristoff to the Jewish quarter this night and warn the rabbi. Okay, so we get to spend some XP. Cool. So, I do want to start putting some stuff towards uh, disciplines. First off, feeding, blood healing, blood strength, and blood dexterity all count as discipline use. And there is actually further as you learn. So I'm going to go ahead and put a point into Blood Dexterity to open up Blood Stamina. Blood Stamina to open up Awaken. And then Awaken will do Walk the Abyss, which I don't have the points for, unfortunately. Um, I do want to put some more points into Potence, but we also now have access to Protean because we've been working with Wilhelm. So a point into that, and then all the points in the Feral Claws that I can get is going to happen. Um, and then, I think we might be kind of screwed. Oh, no, we can do your awe a little bit more, and that gives us 172 points. 
which we can put into some of this. Um, I'm going to go into strength and giving us 24 points. Okay. And then Wilhelm. Um, he has, he has, he's the one who made it so that we could use, uh, Protean. Um, we're going to go ahead and make sure his Protean Feral Claws is as high as we can get it right now. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and do Dexterity. And that is where we're going to leave that off. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out our Haven downstairs real quick. I don't think there's going to be any more talking, but I could be wrong because it's been a while. Oh. Kill the golem. Not yet. That is going to be the next video. We're going to worry about that. Uh, I want to go downstairs. Check out the haven. I love the University Haven. It's actually a really nice thing. Alright, so in the University Haven, we have a few things. Uh, first off, this place looks great. I love the, um, the Carthage mural. Um, also, down here, when I threw the... Uh, I threw the wrought iron cross, it's still there, so like fun continuity. Um, we have access to our vault. Sir, so the letter from St. Cuthbert, or from uh, Sir Cuth Cuthbert. We'll put the letter th from Ineska in there. Garinol's journal is going to go in there, and so is Mercurio's plot. Um, we'll keep these. I think that is it. Um, now, we also have the option to come over here. I love how the Sabbat Ankh is on this one. And we can rest, which will allow us to do uh, XP whenever we want. But yeah, that is um, that is where we're going to leave off tonight. We got a lot done. Um, Garinol's Haven is, is difficult, especially the fight with Mercurio towards the end. Um, and I do look forward to working um, with the Cappadocians later in this. So... Thank you for joining me with this uh, third episode in the playthrough. Um, seriously, check out the link in the description to check out the uh, the tour of the of the Cappadocians uh, monastery uh, underneath, like subterranean uh, subterranean haven. Check it out; it is very cool. They are using the Skyrim engine. Um, it is a mod that they are building. And they need as much support as possible, so give it a look.